If your solar-powered attic fan came with a mechanical thermal switch like the one shown here, you will need to remove it to install the solar controller. To remove the old switch, unplug the black and red wires from the motor and the black wire from the switch closest to the motor. Then cut the three zip ties to remove the switch. The controller box can be mounted on any nearby rafter provided the distance from the fan is less than 8 feet. In this example, we will mount the box on the next rafter over from the fan opening and route the wire along the rafters and ridge board to the fan. Position the controller box down and away from the underside of the roof surface at least 1 to 2 inches to allow the sensor on top of the controller to read the air temperature correctly. Then mark the four mounting holes for pre-drilling. Use the four provided mounting screws to mount the controller box as shown. The two 8-foot connection cables are bundled in the package. Remove the twist tie to separate them. Attach the first cable to the fan leads on the controller box and then attach them to the fan motor. Make sure to attach red to red and black to black, otherwise the fan will run in reverse. Then repeat the connections with the second cable to the solar panel leads. Using the half inch coaxial staples, secure the wires to the rafters as shown. Once you have secured the wires, your solar controller is now installed and will work with the power provided from the solar panel.